let me tell you exhausted tired is an understatement i'm very tired well i think the liquid iv is kicking in because i drank some when i came home because i felt a bit dehydrated as well because i just ran from one class to the next <laughs> yes that's what i'm here to tell you the secret is out i'm coming out <laughs> <laughs> okay let me give you a bit of backstory first uh, when I left teachers college I was frantic I was dreading going into the classroom because I did secondary edu education I did secondary education and I was so young um, and teaching practice I think traumatized me a bit because of the students that I taught um, some of them already had children uh, some of them were living with partners both male and female and the males were just coming after me asking me to be their valentines the females were asking me how old I am because they know I'm not older than them and then I was so skinny my waist was 23 hmm. so I felt like I was not ready to go into the classroom because I couldn't manage and so for eight years i worked in a government organization and with proper advice and the wisdom of my mom who said to me it is very good and nice that you're working but sometimes you can get stuck in complacency especially working at some certain environment or certain organizations i heeded to what she said and i quit <laughs> I quit. I did other jobs, of course, and I also went ahead and wrote the book. So if you have not gotten the book yet, One Big Irie Family, you can get it on Amazon. The link is in the description below. And also remember to subscribe. So that's the backstory in essence, in a nutshell. Of course, there is more to it, but I won't make this video too long. Saying that to say this, I moved abroad to Japan and taught there for three years. My experience was different. Saying this to say that I did not teach in local schools in Jamaica. Also, not just because I was dreading going into the classroom, but at some point I wanted to get experience in my field, but teachers I was trained to teach home economics and home economics teachers were not leaving their jobs so I remember at some point I was even calling around calling different schools to volunteer because I wanted to get experience in my field I was like I need to get some experience in my field but even now I have home teachers who taught me in high school 24 years more than 20 years ago still at the school so you should know it's because no of the brain drain and the teachers leaving Jamaica why I was able to land a job after Japan and yes that is it that's when I come out because I'm telling you I went to into teaching that's why me am out so <laughs> i have decided to try teaching in jamaica it wasn't hard for me to get the job as i said in previous videos when i came back to jamaica i was a tourist for a while and i'm yet to tell you how i did that because i wasn't working a nine to five you know but yes after a few months i decided to apply for a teaching job and i got the job and i have been teaching so enough people never know now you know right how is it <laughs> i'm teaching at a high school as i said i did secondary education um where should i start I am traumatized so I was younger when I decided not to do it and 
I don't know. Crazy me. Remy Stabilize. Crazy me decided to go ahead and try it. When me all. Can I manage? Mm. I now see why Jamaican teachers are leaving. And not just because of the pay and the system. Well, the pay is a big factor. But guys, let's talk about it. How is it that you are doing a job and you can't afford certain things? Teaching has always been my, my profession of choice. I wanted to be a teacher. It was my dream job. I wanted to walk around with my register, people calling me Miss Gentles, marking books. And I still like doing that, quite like doing it. But with this generation of children, um it's very difficult i must say the compensation package is not encouraging so yeah the, the the secret is out i am teaching in jamaica and i will be taking you along the journey so if this is something that you are interested in please to subscribe and stay tuned because i will be sharing my life as a teacher in jamaica and i must say i will tell you it that it is very different from teaching in japan first of all i was an assistant language teacher in japan so i wasn't responsible for a whole lot of school operations and administrative stuff i just had to show up plan lessons with the teachers do my genki energetic lessons and go on my yard i didn't have to correspond with any parents sometimes i did things of course outside of the classroom like assist with english camps and english speaking competitions you know but now full blown Cowboy Garden. Anyway, stay tuned. Stay tuned. May I tell you all about it? So, if you are somebody who is considering coming back to Jamaica to go into teaching, just know that a job is here for you because there are lots of vacancies, and you can follow my journey. Of course, everybody's experience is different, but there are general things that is the same across the board. So, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.